Let me show you one more demonstration in Newton's laws. This one um, reveals some things about Newton's second and third laws. So here are the materials. Uh, this is a bottle of ethyl alcohol, not the type you want to drink. And uh, we're going to put it inside of this container and swirl it around and make some vapors to create the spark to ignite the vapors. Here's a little Tesla coil and a cattle prod, if you will. And we're going to touch it to this bolt and uh, makes a little zap. And that should give us all the ignition that we need. So once it's in there, we pop a cork on it and see what happens, okay? Just a couple drops, swirl it around, put the cork on it, and then that explosion is gonna create a force. So here's where Newton's third law comes in. Which feels the bigger force? Um, there's really two parts of the system that are gonna fly apart. There's the cork, so it gets pushed by the expansion of the gases. Um, the whole cart with the bottle on it also gets pushed by those gases. Which one feels the bigger push? So what Newton's third law tells us is it's the same push. That, that internal force is the same for both of them. So here's where Newton's second law comes in. If the cork feels the exact same force as the cart, which one accelerates more? So Newton's third law doesn't say the two objects will have the same acceleration. It just says they have the same force. The one with the greater acceleration then will be the one with the smaller mass, right? Acceleration is equal to force divided by mass. So the same common force applied to the smaller mass gives the greater acceleration. So uh, that should be really clear once we fire this off, let's see. Okay, ready, set, go. Sure enough, okay. The cork with the much smaller mass accelerates more, the cart with the greater mass accelerates less, but they clearly both experience a force as we see them both accelerate in opposite directions.